another round of skincare empties. I can't remember if I mentioned in the last video, but I had I have this bad habit of using products to maybe like three quarters and then I'll stop. Almost like I'm conserving the remaining product for some weird reason. It's like psychologically I don't want to run out even though I can re just rebuy it. It makes no sense. So there'll probably be like a few empties videos in fairly quick succession. I don't want it to seem like I'm just going through products like water. It's just because I had so many that were three quarters done. But I'm just making like a, a thoughtful effort to actually finish them out so they, they so that they don't expire. Um, so there was an empties video not too long ago. I'm sure there'll be another one in a few weeks. Um, but that's the reason. I'll start off with the Ceremonia Guava Rescue Spray. I'm definitely not a hair aficionado, but I like this product a lot because I don't usually use conditioner, so it's just an easy way to get a conditioning effect in a spray after a shower is done. It's just like a quick leave-in. Plus it smells awesome, kind of tropical, um, almost like a hair fragrance. I have one unopened bottle in backup, so I'll definitely move straight into a new one. But if you haven't heard, Beyonce has recently launched her hair care line Sacred. So I feel like moving forward, I'm going to be pretty loyal to Sacred once it arrives. Um, yeah, this product, this ceremonial product might stick around because Sacred doesn't really have a similar or like a like for like style product at the moment. Um, we'll see, we'll see. But I feel like Beyonce is going to own my heck <laughs> for life from now on. Next is the Soltaire Santel Bloom Serum Body Wash. Soltaire is a great and affordable kind of body care brand that's sold in Target in the US. The textures are quite a classic gel format. The body washes aren't super moisturizing, but they're definitely not drying, just very much straight down the line classic body wash style product. The real feature of this brand is the affordable pricing structure, the sort of fun aluminium colored bottles and all the variety of fragrances that they have on offer. Santel Bloom smells really great, a little bit earthy, a little bit musky with kind of highlights of sandalwood. Next is the Saatchi Skin Complexion Clarifying Accelerator. This is one of my favorite exfoliating products because it blends a bunch of things like enzymes and acids and it very much targets like surface te texture and pigmentation but it's also backed up with a bunch of soothing and brightening e ingredients and extracts. On my skin this does feel kind of spicy, a little bit like strong leaning but not to the point that it causes any kind of barrier disruption or it's not that aggressive that it causes my skin to freak out. However, if you do have a more delicate skin type, of course, proceed with caution. It's not a, it's not like a gentle, gentle product. It's just not exceptionally aggressive. Um, I also really like the texture. It's a bit like using a gelled honey. Next is the Galanay Hair Cleansing Cream. If you think of like a cream cleanser for face, this is a cream cleanser for hair. I actually prefer using it more as like a scalp treatment rather than a shampoo. It just does a great job at like balancing and moisturizing my scalp, which is sometimes prone to issues. I have eczema and I've had it since I was a baby, which sometimes kind of flares up around my hairline and like in the back here. So uh, sort of scalp treatment slash shampoo slash cleansing cream like this for hair and scalp just really benefits that type of condition. Condition. Galanay as a brand used to be available at Mecca so it was readily available. Sadly they've left Mecca so I think they're choosing to focus on the European market for now. So I don't think I'll be able to order this readily anymore. I have one left in backup but after that I'll have to see if I can source it from overseas or I guess maybe move on to another brand. Next up is the Lovina Power Vitamin C Cleansing Balm. This is a classic balm cleanser, but with a really indulgent blend of oils. And it has a really fun, vibrant red color and it smells like berries. It emulsifies well and rinses cleanly. I enjoy this cleanser a lot and I actually think it came in a box Boxwala subscription. So if you like the idea of like niche, more indie brands that are maybe a bit more natural leaning, Boxwala is a great service to explore. Um, Cause I think that's the way I was introduced to Lovina as a brand and now I like a lot of their product. I'm now using their blue version of the cleansing balm. I forgot the name, but I'll throw it up on screen. So that's a very similar cleansing experience. Next is the Airy Day Mineral Mousse SPF 50 plus. Now I just want to mention for TGA purposes, I haven't received this product in PR, bought it myself, there's no valuable consideration. This is definitely my favorite sunscreen ever, simple as that. It's a zinc oxide formula with chemical boosting. 
And I guess based on the name, it gives a clue as to the texture, but it's very airy and very moussey. It kind of feels like a silicon primer, but sometimes when I say that, I feel like I'm giving it a negative connotation. It's a very awesome texture. Sometimes with silicone primers, you can kind of notice that overly slippy, almost oily effect. This doesn't do that. It can feel a little bit oily and slippy on actual initial application, but it dries down so well that it's barely noticeable. The actual texture they've been able to make feel very creamy rather than too silicone-y. Spreads really well and sets down to a natural matte finish. This also has some like pigments in there, which are fairly translucent, but you might notice it if you have extremely light skin and being a zinc oxide product it's likely this will show up on darker skin tones unfortunately but because of that pigment effect it does have like a skin perfecting quality and almost like it fills in my pores a little bit too i've gone through many tubes of this now and i'll continue to repurchase this product i'm a huge huge fan I will say because I've used quite a few tubes now, a couple of them have had some maybe batch issues. The texture of this should be fairly smooth. So if you've experienced any mild graininess coming through in the tube, I'd probably suggest returning or swapping out the product because it shouldn't be grainy. But beyond that, it has been an exceptional sunscreen experience and I'm not a sunscreen fan. I use them because I have to and this product has made my life just so much easier. I just want to reiterate that this is a matte leaning finish. So if you're expecting like a dewy result, this is not that. It's not matte in the sense that it's drying though. They've actually balanced the zinc oxide really well just overall ticks a lot of boxes i'm really really happy with this sunscreen next up is the sunday riley b3 nice serum i think is how you say it this is hands down one of my favorite niacinamide products around and i love that it's a niacinamide serum but has been blended with a bunch of other antioxidants and skin support ingredients it has a fairly classic fluid gel texture that layers and absorbs really well and the texture and the color is like purple translucent so it's just a little bit of fun to use as well versus the standard clear options the ingredients and just the way that this performs is an awesome complement to sunscreen so i love using it in the morning and it just helps with like texture and pores niacinamide is one of those ingredients that does a little bit of everything but the fact that this does have all the additional antioxidant support it just makes for a great like one and done morning serum if you followed me for a while you'll know that i love do deliverance because it has that kind of hydration support with antioxidants this is very much in that same lane and i would consider it a great alternative to deliverance if you can't get it Next is the Jordan Samuel Skin, the After Show Treatment Cleanser. This is a gelled oil, I think sometimes known as a D-phase cleanser that had a kind of signature mango citrus scent that I absolutely love. Sadly, we just found out that this fragrance from Jordan Samuel is being discontinued by the supplier or the creator of the fragrance. So only the fragrance-free version of this cleanser will remain like on the brand. I think the fragrance-free one was more popular anyway, but the people that love this scent really loved it. This type of D-phase cleanser does leave a little bit of a film behind, so it's actually not my favorite cleansing experience. I just love this cleanser mainly because of the scent but I think a lot of people still love this kind of gel cleanser format so if that's you the fragrance free version is still around and hopefully they'll be able to bring back a fragrance version at some point in the future next is the Jordan Samuel moisture recovery cream this is a really thick and quite buttery kind of paste like texture and format but it surprisingly worked out really well for me. I have fairly congestion prone skin, but this did not feel like too heavy or clogging in any way. It moisturizes really well. It's quite emollient without making me feel greasy. And overall it ended up being one of my favorite products for barrier repair. So just when my skin is needing that little bit of extra TLC, this is when I'd reach for this moisturizer. My only real complaint with this moisturizer is that you can see the label there. It peels away really easily for some reason. And the little bit of that label sometimes end up on my finger so when I'm going to apply the moisturizer my skin ends up having these bits of like white label on it um, so I don't love the printing that they're using on this hopefully that changes over time but yeah that's my only note next up is the Soltair 5% AHA serum deodorant this is an alpha hydroxy acid uh, gel deodorant in a roll-on format. It could actually be mistaken for like a skincare product that texture just reminds me more of skincare less so a deodorant now, I always use an actual proper antiperspirant with aluminium. I think that's a very needed thing. 
So this type of product isn't really targeting me. I don't care about aluminium free at all. But I mean, this was nice to use, especially in the nighttime or if I'm having like a second shower in the day, just for a little bit of a refresh, because it does help with like odor control, just not as well as a deodorant with like aluminium in it. So yeah, this product is a little bit pointless for me. I enjoyed using it, but I wouldn't like, it wouldn't be something that I'd need to shop for myself. It's aluminum, if you will. <laughs> Next is the Fleur Somebody Wood Body Wash. I absolutely love the texture and formula of this body wash. It feels like a delicate serum rather than like a dense gel texture and it has a soft but really enveloping leather basically it foams up but not aggressively where there's like a million bubbles going on and I also like that it has a good amount of slip so I feel like I get a lot of like coverage from not that much actual body wash product this particular scent is quite woodsy and musky with a little bit of sweetness to it. I guess the one comment I'd make is that maybe some of us are used to using like Sol de Janeiro or those like high fragrance brands. Generally those body washes, that type of body wash is quite clingy to the skin so the fragrance lingers a lot longer. The Fleur options, at least this one here, is a little bit more delicate on the aroma. So although the in-shower experience of it, you can definitely notice the fragrance, it doesn't really like it doesn't really cling to the skin long term. So Fleur as a brand, they've got several fragrance products, and I assume they do that on purpose because the concept is that you'll be layering. So it's like you might have the somebody would body wash, but then you've also got the fragrance. So by the time you've got a few of those layers going on, you end up with a well-balanced like fragrance fragranced application whereas some other body brands their only focus is actual body wash and lotion so they load their products with fragrance because they're not also selling like fragrance bottles if that makes sense so yeah just keep just keep that in mind because the payoff of this is more in shower not so much like throughout the day Next is the Retrovay Cleansing Elixir. I discovered this cleanser actually watching Michelle Wong, who's one of my favorite YouTubers that very much like stays in that luxury skincare lane, probably with a focus on makeup and fashion. And although this looks like it would be a jar, it's actually in this unique pump format. The texture is quite unique. It's almost like a broken down balm. So it's not fluid like an oil. It's not balmy like a balm cleanser, very much somewhere in between. Kind of unusually for a luxury brand, this is fragrance free. I absolutely love the texture and using this cleanser. It feels amazing on the skin and rinses really well. My only note is that I felt like I had to use quite a lot of product to get the level of slip and coverage that I'd want. Because it's quite pricey, it's sort of hard to justify ongoing regular use. I think this is probably going to be something that I'll repurchase at some point because I enjoy the texture so much, but likely not a regular occurrence just because it's expensive. <laughs> Next is the Violette FR Blemish Rescue. Violette is actually one of my favorite skincare brands. Again, they probably lean makeup, but just do skincare really well. They release like a whole serum collection with a bunch of different options that like have the same bottle, but with different targeted effect. My understanding is that these serums were designed more so for temporary or limited use. So it's kind of like you're supposed to choose one of the applicable serums if your skin is going through a certain like moment where it's stressed. In this case, Blemish Rescue is designed to kind of calm down the appearance of blemishes as they come up. So I guess just soothing and calming them down to assist the healing process. To me, the ingredients in here are actually fairly perfect. And, this, and the serum does have a really nice skin calming effect with a beautiful gel texture that absorbs well and easily. But I guess I don't really understand this recommendation of just using it temporarily. Something like this would probably, you know, actually be well tolerated and designed as an overall daily serum. So yeah, the marketing and the choice to have these as kind of like a first aid serums doesn't really make that much sense to me. And sadly, these serums are actually quite pricey considering the volume because they are a very small quantity of product. I think it's 15 mil. I can't see it on the bottle here, but I'll throw that up on screen. I loved using this serum. It's, it was one of my favorite serum textures. I love the ingredients in there. So if this were 30 mil at a more reasonable price point, I would probably use it quite regularly. I'm just undecided if there's enough value here to repurchase this over and over again. But I did love it. I, I feel like it did help with my breakouts, just calming the like the redness of them. And last product is Gotham Easter Essence, which is a collab with uh, Saro de Rue. I am such a huge fan of Gotham Easter, Renee Chow, like long-term skincare icon, especially if you're on YouTube and you and you watch her channel and content. 
Her online presence is just extremely inspiring to me. I love her product recommendations. I love the way she communicates product information and brand information. So yeah, just love, love Gotham Easter. And I was of course over the moon to find out that she was coming out with her own skincare product. This definitely does not disappoint. It has a laundry list of skincare ingredients designed to hydrate, brighten, and act as antioxidant support. I love that this blends like the classic skincare ingredients, niacinamide, ceramides, but also also embraces and utilizes traditional Chinese medicinal processes with like K-beauty hanbang ingredients like ginseng. In my mind, it's almost like Sulwasu has been blended with the ordinary to achieve this kind of really good quality hydrating brightening essence. The texture is quite thick and syrupy and this is, isn't normally the type of texture that I would reach for but because it's such a rich and packed product and within moments it doesn't absorb entirely, I've been able to integrate it really easily. I definitely have a backup of this ready to go and I'll just move straight into another bottle. This is a huge favorite. That's the end of this empties list. Let me know if you've got any questions about any of these products. I never know if I've actually explained them or why I like them. So please do let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer what I can. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Sam by the Counter.